Hey, it's Ross Sulberry, and I'm here in the heart of Singapore, reflecting on what can a garden teach us about spirituality? Singapore is known as a city within a garden. And that's because decades ago, they began to plant seeds and flowers all over the city as a way to beautify it. There's probably no activity that reminds me more of true spirituality than gardening because it requires humility. I mean, think about it. Gardening, you got to get down in the ground and your hands and knees, plant seeds, really get your hands dirty. Flowers don't care if you're blue check verified on social media or if you're a celebrity. All that matters is caring for those things that you're wanting to see grow. This is probably why Jesus talked about this aspect of gardening and spirituality in John chapter 12. He said that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and is buried, it, it dies alone. But if it is planted, then it sprouts up and multiplies itself many times over. We are to die to ourselves. If we lose our lives for the sake of his kingdom, then we gain it. It's this incredible role reversal about how to have ex an experience true life that actually transforms our understanding of spirituality. What does that look like practically though? Well, humility says that if someone offends me or upsets me, I try to extend patience and seek reconciliation as opposed to revenge. It looks like when someone has success greater than myself, instead of being envious, actually celebrating the wins that they've experienced in their life. Singapore is an incredible garden city and it also shows us that as children of God, when we decide to humble ourselves and be planted, that we also sprout new life. That is the essence of true humility, the essence of true spirituality, and what it looks like for us to die to ourselves so that we can flourish and grow like a garden.